everybody, it's Ron, and I'm just going to make a short video today about Batman Under the Red Hood, the animated movie that came out in 2010. I just rewatched it on the DC Universe app, and, and man, this is probably one of the best DC animated movies they've ever put out. The funny thing is, I have to be honest and say that I've never read the actual Red Hood arc in the comics, and I'm a huge Batman fan too. I have no idea why, I just kind of skipped over that one. So yeah, I'm not sure how it holds up compared to the book, but this movie is fantastic. The original story was written by Judd Winnick, and I think he wrote this as well. I've liked some of the stuff he's written, and I enjoyed his Green Arrow run from a few years ago. Well, years and years ago now. Yeah, so I think I'm finally going to read his Batman run now that I have this DC app. I, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this app. They have a good collection of comics now, and that's that's pretty much my favorite part of it. I hear it's not doing really well, and I wish it was because I want to keep reading back issues on this. And, uh, I'm currently reading through the, the uh, James Robinson Starman run because I've never finished it back in the day. I had the first two omnibuses of that, and then I couldn't find Volume 3 anywhere. I, I think it might have been like a limited run, and I just stopped buying them. So it's it's nice to go back and be able to read that whole run. Okay, so anyway, yeah, this movie is great. The pacing is perfect. I love the opening. It's high stakes right from the start. We're basically seeing a mini adaptation of the Death in the Family arc um, in the comics where Jason Todd, the Jason Todd Robin was killed by the Joker. If you haven't read that one, definitely check it out. It's a classic. Uh, Jim Starlin, I think. Basically what happened was the readers got to vote if uh, Robin lived or died. And uh, they voted to kill him, which was pretty cool. I, I, I wish they did stuff like that now. It's just fun. So yeah, in this uh, Red Hood movie, it was cool to see Black Mask in this because he's not in a lot of the animated stuff. I know he was never in the animated series. I can't remember if he was in the uh, Justice League Unlimited. I don't think so. So yeah, the the uh, the action is great. Uh, the fighting is awesome. It's really well done. It's just solid. I know some people don't like the idea of bringing back dead characters, but to me this works just like it worked for Winter Soldier. Uh, with Marvel, the, the the movie and the and the comic, so you, this is like DC's version of that, uh, and, and that kind of story intrigues me. It's cool to see Red Hood, who is Jason Todd, uh, revive from Ra's al Ghul's Lazarus pit, kind of go toe to toe with Batman. And the reason it's so cool to see that is because Batman actually trained him. So they have all the same moves. He knows all of Batman's secrets. It's just such an advantage over his regular rogues gallery. The voice cast is pretty good. I think it's the guy who did the voice of Bender in Futurama, plays the Joker, and he does a pretty good job here. No one's ever gonna outdo Mark Hamill, but he's definitely one of the better Jokers as far as animated movies go. So yeah, I definitely recommend it if you haven't checked this out yet, especially now that they're releasing a version of uh, Jeff Loeb and uh, Jim Lee's Hush storyline. And uh, to be honest, that looks a little disappointing. The art style just doesn't work for me because it's so far from what Jim Lee's stuff looked like in that book. And, and I actually think that's some of Jim Lee's best work. I think it would be cool to see an animation team try to replicate that, but oh well. I'll probably review that one when it comes out and do a comparison to the book. But anyway, like I said, definitely check this out, especially if you have the DC Universe app. And it's probably on a couple streaming services too. I know Netflix still has some of the DC uh, animated movies, I think. I, I could be wrong. They, they at least used to have some of them. But definitely check it out. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're digging the content. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.